Remove your helmet. Bradley. Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Zach. We're back with The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 4. Last episode, we had uh, the rescue of Ragnar Vizsla, right? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't I mean, he um, such a good character? He was fucking great. Him and... Uh, funny, he looked six like and a half hours later. Carl Weathers directed it. Filoni wrote it. And I think most people think the most interesting part about the episode was getting some feedback on Grogu's backstory. Who oh, rescued him from that. The... Yeah. yeah, and uh, I think in a lot of social media has the same people fucking damned him 30 years ago. They're saying his praises now. Because of suicide was, awareness, all this stuff. It was okay. I mean, I don't think he was like glorious. I don't think he should have been shit on to the point. I hated Jar Jar. Yeah. Hated Jar Jar. And yeah. I don't remember ever saying that guy should ever go kill himself. No, of course not. But I I never liked that fucking character. But it's not that guy's fault. Like, it was exactly. a job for him. Yeah, it was but... a job for him. And But after that, he said he got blackballed from Hollywood a little bit. Uh, oh, that's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit, yeah. That's... I'm I'm just glad that he chose to stay a part of the Lucasfilm family and they gave him this role for this kid's game show. And I've since looked it up. It's on YouTube. It is just like a funny game show. They call him Master... I can't remember his name is actually. And he also is at Disney in Florida. They do these things. They used to do these things on weekends for kids where they had Star Wars characters come to life. I think the guy who played Hondo Naka, he'd dress up in the get-up and he'd be... Hello! I'm just glad he came back for like a meaningful story. It's about Grogu, uh, and that character's still alive. I think he had a pretty good lightsaber fight, and we had the temple scenes, like more temple scenes, and it's consistent with like some of the stuff we saw in in uh, the Kenobi series as well. Uh, I thought yeah. it was fun and exciting. I, yeah, I'm really interested where they go with it. I mean, it wasn't as interesting as the episode before it. The episode Obviously, before it was one of the best. It was like a high point so far. Yeah, that was one of the best so, episodes. And I, I love Mandalorian. And I love that first season. But that first season doesn't have a lot of episodes that are really crazy. <laughs> no, but it's just his style. Th that episode, I think, was an example of whatever is coming. The threat, whatever it is, is probably thrown. It's rising. And I want to see it. Yeah. I, but that, I... It's like a fucking contradiction. But Thrawn, to me, was one of my favorite villains that I never read about. Yeah, and watched like I, the idea of that villain, how he looked, and the threat he posed, and how he did what he did. Well, you know enough about him for him to be cool. Uh, yeah, and I, my thing is like, I, yeah, I never read the fucking books, yeah. but he was such a. I cool, only read the first one. He was such a cool idea. Oh, don't worry, he's cool. He's he's still cool. Yeah, he's more than an idea. I mean, he I actually just, shows up in Rebels, and I know you know that, so it's not a spoiler. I do know that, and I just have to wonder because uh, Mad's brother, I saw him in the. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch, Sherlock series. Yeah. I wasn't... I mean, the guy's a good actor, don't get me wrong, but he didn't create the kind of character that I'm usually drawn to. Yeah. So I'm kind of wondering, like, what to expect. He's also the Witcher, isn't he? Yeah, he's that fucking mage. The asshole. Wizard guy that's like got these naked fucking people running <laughs> naked women yeah. around the fucking place. bo led the war party, and, she and, was given the and they found three new foundlings. Yeah, this fucking bird thing. Yeah. And they animated that like Return of the Jedi. The what? frame rate yeah, was, was slower. Sl lower, yeah, or slower. Yeah. Yeah. Lower, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Before we jump in, make sure you support us by checking out our merch. We actually have much more than this. We need to get this. Also, check out our Patreon. We have two-week early access uh, for our non-live shows, and we also have our full-length uncut reactions. Let's jump in. Where did you come upon the dark saber? One of the great That's scenes in this show. Gideon. Did you kill him? No. John Carlo, right? Shasito? Yeah. I don't know what we're getting. We're either getting a big episode or... This is a horrible thought, but do you think anyone's ever, in the, they had to have, in the history of mankind, taken a turtle and like, broken it on the ground to eat it? In the history of mankind, yes. Yeah, they had to. I'm sure they're it's taking a rock and nothing. horrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. 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 You take the socks. <laughs> it just occurred to me. I was thinking of a turtle up there and smashing sounds. This is called intrusive thoughts. Are they? No. I didn't think so. I thought they were uncontrollable. That was just like, it was brought on by the But sound. your mind went to that place and it said something else. <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. Oh, Pirates. snap. Could be an action-packed episode. Did One thing I take for granted in this show is, I know they, is a lot of the sets are building. I think how many men it would take to a fucking ship like that. 
Ivan Shard. I don't believe my eyes. The voice sounds like Grief Karga. But all I see before me is a pampered nobleman dressed for the pomp of his wedding feast. Don't mistake my hospitality for weakness. Is that what you call gunning down my helmsman in cold blood? He shot first. Now I will shoot first. Navarro is now under the protection of the New Republic. My charts indicate that Navarro is an independent world. This isn't Sabak. You can't bluff your way out. That's awful. The escape pod is ready. I will lead you to the launch site. I won't abandon my city. We have to get the people to safety. Where the fuck are they going? I guess just leave Ben in the city. Is that one? An ice cream maker? Yeah. I've not been trained. I've not trained myself to recognize one on screen. I'm not looking for them. I it's not know. because I make ice cream. Zach, it's from episode five. I know. I know why. I don't want you to think that I was just looking for ice cream makers. <laughs> why wing? Tropical, another tropical planet. The music. It's a guy. He's Iroh, right? Oh, yeah. The new Iroh. Yeah. Doesn't sound anything like him. No, he's got to do a better Mako impression, I hope. We have been attacked by Pirate King Gorian Shard. I'm afraid that our planet will fall and Shard will turn this into a pirate base. Too bad. I really thought Navarro was gonna make it. And for this to correspond, request permission to intercede. Zach? They haven't returned a dispatch in weeks. He's from Rebels. He's swamped. No. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Then I'm just gonna have to go there and talk to them myself. They can't ignore me face to face. I love your attitude. Same voice actor, you think? Yeah. It's a prominent guy, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's Zeb. Okay. I remember him. He's fucking arm in the shell. You call him Tuttle? Hey. Fit chick. Yeah. No, no, no. Do not put any more stuff on that part of the desk. That's my work area. <laughs> it's okay. He can stay. You scoot. Dude, he's hilarious. What's he from? I recognize that guy. I'm requesting authorization and backup for a Delphi squadron in dealing with the pirate siege on Navarro. Captain Taylor. We have been attacked by Pirate King Gorian Shard. I get the gist. They have yet to sign the charter. They're not a member planet. Uh-oh. It's not good. What does that matter? We can't leave them defenseless. Of course not. I don't think that this is an isolated episode. The citizens speak of Moff Gideon occupying the town, and now a Pirate King is attempting the same thing? These events could all be connected. I think that's a bit of a leap. Really? Because I'm hearing Moff Gideon never made it to trial. Perhaps the leaders of Navarro need to understand why becoming a Republic signatory is valuable. By letting them suffer. <laughs> Sounds like a rather imperial way of thinking. It often takes a new perspective before one is able to see the light. You and your sword didn't see the light. You were captured. I was liberated. In any event, thank you, Captain, for bringing us to our... <laughs> we'll see if we can allocate some additional assets. It'll be too late. She's excited. Gideon's out. Snake. Gideon's out. She's a snake. He said Gideon never made it to trial. Yeah, I guarantee. Yeah, he, I, he's out, and something's, something's going on with Thrawn. She goes in the desert. That's now. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> that poor gonk droid, too. I'm surprised how interested I am in the school, the, the bureaucracy of it. Yeah. Well, they've made it appealing. I guess you just you want the new republic to be great. I feel they like do, because of what we saw them fight for. Yeah. Who was it's fighting? like this old guy, Tom sent me this freaking guy, this World War II guy is still alive, sitting there crying about how what the world has become. So what do we fight for? What do all my friends die for? Showing up where the Mandalorians are. How did you manage to find us? Fortunately, someone I served with in the rebellion is amongst your ranks. <laughs> that fuck! <laughs> Thanks, R5.
Navarro is under siege by pirates. They're about to blow Navarro to hell. Then call in a strike. We don't even have ships. Corson doesn't care. Cargo's your friend. Who's hips? Yeah, they are tough. They're hips. I am in no position to ask for any more of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Grief Karga is now a high magistrate and has offered me a tract of land. Perhaps it is time for us to live in the light once again. And our children can feel what it is to play in the sunlight. As long as they keep their mask on. Right? Yeah, keep it fucking the guy in the back. <laughs> That's noble. They're kind of like Vikings at this point. Yeah. Like they, they, they're trying to, they just want land. Does anyone else wish to speak? Big dude's gonna get up. I told you, <laughs> fucking guy. <coughs> He's an asshole. I bet he'll come out in his corner though, because he helped save his son. And now we are asked to sacrifice yet again. Why should we lay our lives down yet again? Because we are Mandalorians. I have had my disagreements with this man, but he risked his life to save my son. And Bo-Katan Trees did not give up on my child's life, even when the rest of us did. Oh, shit. Hey, <laughs> that was really good. Good. Yeah. A lot like that. I'm glad. It's about time. I actually like the character. It's good to have a little bit of friction, but he can't be an asshole forever. You can be heroes. I don't know if I hope not. I'm dead. Uh, the Vizsla guy? Yeah. That place is Jesus. They fucking better. It's like when Simba came back. It. That's the Blitz, the uh, Blitzkrieg with the bombing of London. They feel like pirates. Oh yeah. There's a staff fighter over at Port Bow. It feels like a pirate ship. Oh, yeah. All the view to return. Man, DeLorean. That fucking guy. Thanks for your help, Mando. I decided to take you up on your offer for a tract of land. Be careful, my friend. They've got you outnumbered ten to one. I like those odds. That's pretty cool. But like, how do they have such dis? You know. Like the people who are in the air, they don't know where their people yeah, are. Yeah, no. But then kinda, again, it's kind of like a traditional dog fight. Like yeah, yeah, but it is like a World War One dog fight. World War One, so. World War Two. Yeah. yeah, so it's. <laughs> Some technologies. It's. At... Yeah, I don't know. It looks like sonar. And Zellens. That's what they call it. Well, that's more maneuverable that shit does. Yeah. Belvane and the fighters to reform for a counterattack. They're pursuing the Mandalorian. Bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's it's funny. There's also something that that fucking thing said in uh, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. It said, he... yeah, it said something else after that. But... Yeah. I don't want any Mandalorians dying. You're a little too clean. Alright. Get over here. Yeah, right? Damn it. Sounds 
a terrible way to die. I'm glad she got to do something. That was like a torpedo, it wasn't like a whistling bird. Oh, Boba Fett has something similar to one of his arm buttons. He does, I don't remember when he uses it. Let's see. It's been a pleasure serving you, Captain. But it's time to part ways. He's trying to run, cut running. You coward! Sir, we're down to our last engine! We have to retreat! <laughs> In a puff of big time. Open fire below! It's so inefficient to use mm. one of those. Good shot. Why go out like that, dude? I just, just get the fuck out of there. Call it good. Yeah. When you're doing something shitty, you gotta know what to call it quits. The code, man. Yeah. It's gonna be a code. Dan Jones! Did you see that guy? He'd <laughs> be a guy that you'd be like, who's this asshole? From this day forward, I. Magistrate Grief Garga. Hi, Magistrate, sir. Hi, Magistrate. <laughs> you may no longer have a home planet, but you do now have a home. Welcome. I would have left that, that planet bullshit. You know, I know you don't have a home planet anymore. <laughs> Remove your helmet. But do you respect my station? I do. Remove your helmet. I didn't expect that. This is the way. We must walk the way together. Oh, Mandalorian. Think she's gonna take her helmet off too? I'd be shocked. I was taught that the Mythosaur existed only in legends. And yet, you saw it. You have walked both worlds. You were the one who can unite us. Huh. Damn it, woman. The only way to cap that off is take your fucking helmet off, too. I think it's like, well, you could take yours off because you walk both. I, I, I can't. It. I get it, but if she's like actually saying that, then she's already committing heresy against her own fucking religion. Well, it depends. No, it does not. If, we you, don't... if you are out there claiming, like, oh, whatever, a fucking Mandalorian needs to wear a fucking helmet, or you're not a real Mandalorian. And then you let this woman do it. Holy shit. Her fucking helmet. Mom, I told you! <laughs> she ain't no good! Okaton Kreese is going off to bring other Mandalorians in exile to us. But she shows her face. I love it. This is simple. <laughs> Okatan walks both worlds. It is time to retake Mandalore. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That, that, that could be a very good story. It's a Gideon ship. Maybe not. I can't remember. What it it's like, like the thing that Vader's always on, like a shuttle that takes him down to things. Well, no, but it doesn't have the little cockpit thing. Oh, it does. Good job. Oh, that just this is, this is the shape. The details are classified. Classified. That little thing in the top. No, R two has. It detaches now. Well, well, it's been a few years, I guess. And he's an R four again, isn't he? That he said? Yeah. Yeah. The R5 looked like complete trash. Yeah, it did. So. I don't think they knew the fuck they were talking about. No, they <laughs> Flight times match the ship transporting Moff Gideon. I knew it. He never made it to trial. It's a fragment of Beskar alloy. Are you saying that Moff Gideon was taken by Mandalorians? That doesn't look good. Yeah, do you think it's not our guys? No, it's not. All the assholes who left Bo Katan. Oh, yeah. Fucking pirates. You don't got the sword, so. Yeah, well, we're just gonna do whatever. Zeb, Steve Blum. I never knew that name. Yeah. I never knew that name. He's done a bunch of voices. I just can't remember what. Ah, oh, fuck. I know I know him. Yeah. What do you think, dude? That was good. Yeah, me too. I thought it was good. I thought it was fun, and it was feel good, and it's building it up. Uh, 
You know, I like fun, feel goodery, and this feels like fun, feel goodery. Well, just like what they love about the Clone Wars, it's just star. I think it's pure Star Wars swashbuckling adventures. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like this episode gave me that, but it also is giving me hints of an ominous thing coming. And it's not just like oh, Moff Gideon isn't dead; it's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Why the pirates be involved? All and that kind of shit. It gave us. I know you know who Zeb is, but he's just he's one of the main. It's like seeing Han Solo in something. Like that's how he is in, in uh, Rebels. He's that prominent, is he? He's that prominent in Rebels. I should okay. say. Like, he's one of the main characters of the crew. He's... I know he's one of the main characters of the crew, but I didn't think he was, like, Han Solo level. I thought he was more like Chewbacca or something. Well... Except you can understand him. Yeah, I guess... I think he's... I mean, this characters are legendary, so I can't, like, compare him to anything. Yeah. But I guess, te- technically, Steve... Technically, Zeb has more screen time than Han Solo. Yeah. Which is weird to think about. Now, Zeb is cool, and I thought he looked really good. Like, he did. They put a lot of effort into making him look good. I'm really shocked that we saw him. I just... But if we're going to see him, and then we're going to see, you know, obviously other characters from Rebels, yeah. we're going to start seeing them now. And then the Ahsoka series will probably, she'll Bring probably... them together, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I really liked it. And uh, I, I like Gorian Shard. I actually wanted him to be this funny-ass reoccurring villain, like kind of like Hondo. He wasn't quite as funny as Hondo, though. Like, Hondo is a little more slick and... Well, I, I didn't think he'd be as cool as Hondo, but I just wanted him to be this scummy guy. I don't know. I just... They look like... A lot of effort needs gets put into making those models. They're making like a Stranger Things in Space type show with uh, I can't remember his name. He played he played young Dumbledore. What's his name? Jude Law. Yeah, he's like one of the main characters in it. I heard that uh, Gorian Shard was rumored to be like a big part of it, but he's dead now. So why would he be part of it? So, oh, you mean Star Wars is going to do a Stranger Things in Space? Yeah. Okay, I thought you just meant a show. It's, yeah. It's, I'm it's, like, why the fuck would a Star Wars character just like blip into a show over here? Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? No, no, it's a new show they're making. It's like the transition doesn't even work. I know. Uh, it's like a coming of age thing with young kids slash teenagers. Okay. And it's supposed to be like a Stranger Things in space. Okay. Uh, well, at least that's what I heard like two years ago. But they're already done making it. They just they're in the middle of, like post production now. Hmm. But uh, Jude Law is in it. He's a prominent character in it. Well, Jude Law is cool. I like Jude Law. I like him too. Yeah. Have you seen? Actually, I think you saw in theaters with me. AI, artificial intelligence. Yeah, it's just cool. I saw it. Jude Law is a sex droid. Yeah, I saw that movie in theaters three times, but I've never seen it after that. Three times. I saw it with you once. I thought I saw it with Jordan Striker. I saw it with someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Like Josiah Brown. (laughs) I've only seen it maybe twice. Yeah. Maybe once. This episode was like the end, maybe of the arc, which is like technically the first half, because we saw every character. We saw the. Kind of like the muscular chick who freaking betrayed our guy. Oh, yeah. We saw her. Uh, you see that she's influencing things on the New Republic side to steer them away from Navarro. Yeah. So why is Navarro important? I don't know. Maybe just because it's positioning, like geopolitically, quote unquote. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Um, like it's not outer rim. It's interesting to me. And I mean, and you can. there's a million reasons why. Well, like Gideon was already set up there to begin with. Yeah, well, and why? Yeah. I guess it's interesting to me that she's warmed her way up that high, so, you know. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I, you I, figure you just never trust her. I'm, yeah, not, I'm, not faulting, guess, I'm, I'm not faulting it. I'm just saying, like. No, I mean, I get it. But at the same time, on the New Republic side, like, oh, yeah, well, we have to, we can't just kill them all. Yeah. <sighs> well, okay, the, let's see that. <clears throat> the Confederates, after the end of the Civil War. Yeah. A lot of them were, like, granted amnesty. Okay, just go home. Yeah. The war's over. That's a hell of a thing. Like, the war's over. Go home. Slavery sucks. Sorry. You lost. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you lost. You lost everything. We're going to... You go home, have your life. Yeah. Well, the fight's done. You just have to think about it. They're probably done fighting at that point. Like, yeah. If they just treated these people with animosity. Yeah. They, in their minds, probably would like these people with potential adversaries mm-hmm. to commit guerrilla warfare on so many levels and crime. Yeah. But if you let them go home and have their lot of life... No, I think I think that's like lane. absolutely like a hell of a, an amnesty. Yeah, not how it went for a lot of people in later wars. No, hell no. But it's also a civil war, so civil wars are different. Because they're but, our brothers. Yeah, yeah, but it's you know you're fighting like against the Nazis. I mean, all those people got rounded up in fucking war internment camps, and the Soviets just like whisked them off into fucking labor camps, and a lot of Germans, the gulags. The Germans died in gulags and shit, and then their women were raped to death in the fucking streets of Berlin. Well, that's so, terrible. Do you think everyone knew about? I don't think everyone knew about the No, I don't think it's been reported that 
like historically speaking, not every not all of them knew about the Death yeah, Star. Yeah, and like it's like a lot of Imperials don't know about the Death Star. But the which is interesting, like Erwin Rommel. Yeah, um, he kind of plotted against Hitler and tried to have him like was part of a so did Tom Cruise killed. Oh yeah, Stauffenberg. Uh, Stauffenberg. Stauffenberg. Yeah, I, I I really liked it, and I also liked how. Uh, like the Mandalorian storyline, it makes the most sense. Like we want to unite and we want to take back Mandalore. Yeah. To me, I've always thought that could be one of the most interesting storylines is taking back Mandalore. And uh, I imagine, I mean, originally they had a couple of different series planned, but I know Cara Dune, like that character's not going to be here anymore. So they're, mm -hmm. they're combining story elements into this. Yeah. I imagine in my head, if they're building up for Thrawn to threaten the New Republic, then the Mandalorian storyline needs to be okay. They need to just be united mm -hmm. i think going forward we need to see more higher stake things for this particular season i uh, would take the action scene with the mandalorians oh it was good I mean, it was good enough i didn't sit there and think wow this looks fucking horrible i mean there wasn't like the goddamn street chase and book of Oath, oh, hell no. I was like, god damn this is hard to watch <laughs> that's <laughs> like a, another great thing to make fun of though <laughs> there it is but jesus it was so bad which is funny because like i think everything about them were, was cool like this culture the subculture within star wars where they're like modding people and it's yeah, the beatniks yeah they're like fucking beatniks yeah and they're representative fucking... of that thing that george's second movie so like the ones that are like motorcycles and yeah yeah, yeah. Shit and like i know you their hair. yeah I, I think everything about that was cool except that chase <laughs> the chase is fucking awful it was awful i think we need to start building it to see like what the the big tense threat is i do because i think that you can only go so long and saying oh these are the mandalorians these are these guys these are these cool characters yeah i think with star wars it's reached that point where Okay, we had the Empire, we had the First Order, mm -hmm. we had the prequels and everything building yeah. up to the Empire. As we had the so Mandalorians, now, and now we've made them cool, now let's do yeah, something with them. We need to see why it's important that they're cool. Yeah. Like, what the fuck does it matter? There's all kinds of cool races, yeah. all kinds of cool species in Star Wars. You know, if that's the case, if they're this cool, they're just going to live out the rest of their fucking lives in little houses on the prairie, living on this fucking planet, just... Raising their kids and just like, you know, well, I, out. I want that for them, but like, I know, but it's well, not good, yeah, especially a show like Star Wars. It, yeah. it needs to be conflict or something. Well, we need to see, like, now I think Din and Bo Katan, like, now they will probably break off from them until those guys are kind of like, well, no, Din Jar and them, he's still probably gonna honor the way. Oh, no, I'm sure. I think all those guys are about the way, and she's gonna walk in between, yeah. she walks both paths. So it just really reminds me of Vikings. Like, they got their land, they can farm, they can live their lives now, not in hiding anymore. Mm. But then, with this helmet, and Bo-Katan, now they are going to be going off and whatever this new thing is. And we got the Ahsoka show coming, which is probably going to much further be about the Thrawn stuff, I think. 